everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different than my usual videos. When I initially created this channel, I did want to do, you know, hair videos and beauty videos, but I also wanted to have, you know, a small segment for girl talk and, you know, things that we as women go through, just life experiences. So with that being said, today's video, I'm going to talk about what I would tell my teenage self. It's been nine years since I graduated high school this year, which seems absolutely insane to me. I feel like I just graduated a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm 27 and, you know, with everybody graduating, it's just been on my mind to, you know, kind of think back to those days and reminisce and, you know, think about the good times and the bad times. So I thought it'd be a great idea to talk about those experiences with you, with anyone who's you know, going into high school, anyone who's in middle school, anyone that's just, you know, would like to hear about a little bit of life experience. So that's what I'll be talking about today. Looking back, if I could see my teenage self now, first thing I would probably do would be to give her a hug and let her know that this too shall pass. You know, being a teenager today is just, it's hard. I mean, it is hard. You know, girls are mean, you're going through so many changes. You're finding out who you are, you're learning so many new things, and it can be a really hard time. And Luna wants to join me today. <laughs> you know, all of that's already hard, but I suffered from depression. I mean, I still do, but I, I really went through it from middle school till the end of high school. Um, you know, when I was on medication, you know, I saw a therapist, and that was a really, really hard time for me. And so, you know, I would, I would tell myself that, you know, things were gonna get better, and the way you're feeling now will eventually end, you know, you'll be happy, and you just, you're just going through a hard time right now. So I'd definitely give my, my teenage self a hug. <laughs> I would also tell my teenage self to spend more time with your family and friends. You know, I've always been big on family. I'm one of six girls. You know, I have eight nieces and nephews. So family has always been the forefront to me, but I definitely could have spent more valuable time with them. I would have also told myself to spend more time with your friends and less time with boys. <laughs> you know, when you're 15, 16, 17, and even 18, you think that Having a relationship and a boyfriend is so important and that can cause you to miss out on so many life experiences. You know, that's such a great defining age to try new things or just, you know, really figure out who you are. It can be clouded by spending all your time with one person that you're that you may not end up with for the rest of your life. I would tell myself to always keep learning, always keep growing. I did not try as hard in school as looking back I wish I would have you know I did the minimal amount of work and I don't know why that was you know it's you're setting yourself up for your future and you're creating new habits and not trying when you're younger can make it harder for when you're older for whenever you really do start to care, start your first job, start your career, you're in school I would tell my younger self to always keep learning, always keep growing be proud to be you. Beauty is not everything. Embrace who you are. You know, I cared so much. I mean, ever since I was little, I always used to love to dress up and, you know, I always wanted to wear makeup. I always wanted to be super tan. And while those things are fun and they're great and it's fun to be a girl, they're not the most important things in life. They're really not. And I spent so much time caring about all those things. And looking back, it's like, why? Why did you care so much? You know, you don't have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. You don't need approval from everybody. You're unique in your own way. So stop caring so much about what you look like. One of the biggest things, if I could go back, and I would tell myself is surround yourself with people with similar values as you. You know, be kind to everyone, but be careful about who you keep in your circle. Not everyone's gonna have the same values as you, same beliefs, 
you know, no one in this world has the exact same beliefs, but you have the power to choose your tribe. Trust your instincts and don't change for anyone else. You know, looking back, I never had one, like one main group of friends. I had a lot of different friends here and there and a few best friends that are still my best friends to this day. There were so many chapters in my life that I spent with friends that we really didn't have much in common. I was put in a lot of bad situations. I just wasn't smart about some of the people I was friends with. And not that you should care about what everyone thinks of you, but you are the sum of the five most of the five people that you spend the most time with. And there were times throughout high school that I spent with certain people that I got looked at a certain way because of the of certain things that they had done and did that I didn't and I didn't believe in those things but because I spent time with them and hung out with them people that didn't know me just assumed that I was the same way you have to be careful and mindful of who you're spending your time with what value they bring in your life and they fit into your life and the person you want to be I would tell myself that just because you can wear big hoop earrings doesn't mean that you should wear the biggest earrings that you can find. It's funny because I'm wearing hoops now. <laughs> I still love my hoop earrings. But if you know me, you know that each year, I think from sixth grade on up until senior year, my mom let me wear bigger hoops each year. And I think by the time senior year hit, I was wearing like Khloe Kardashian hoops, like from my ear down to my neck. <laughs> so I would have told myself, just wear smaller hoops. Another very important thing that I would have told my teenage self is that people don't change unless they want to change. If I would have realized that then, I would have saved so much time and heartache on people that I thought I could change. It's hard when you always try and see the best in people. That's a great quality, but it can also hurt you a lot. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I would tell myself not to ever settle, whether that be people, jobs, opportunities. You are worth so much and you only have one life to live. So don't ever settle with anything that doesn't bring you happiness or anything that's not going to make you grow. The last tip that I would tell my teenage self is to stand up for yourself. I've always prided myself on being a very kind person. And while that's great, when I was younger that caused me to be more of a pushover. And <laughs> like I had mentioned, put myself in terrible situations and put myself around the wrong people. People will treat you how you accept to be treated. And it's taken me a long time to realize, but looking back, that is probably the biggest thing that I've grown from. I don't regret my past because it brought me to the person I am today, but there are certain things that I wish I would have known when I was younger. Alright you guys, well that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Girl Talk videos, let me know in the comments below what you'd be interested in. I'll definitely be doing more. Be sure to like, share, subscribe this video, and make sure to hit the bell down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Alright, thanks you guys.